Currently, driven dimensions in a sketch don't create any parameters that can be referenced by other parameters, formulas, or feature parameters. Therefore, the current implementation of driven dimensions is restricted to a read-only display. Well, not anymore. Now, you can explicitly declare a dimension as driven by right-clicking on a dimension and toggling it on. But I know parameters can be sometimes a bit overwhelming, so let's look at an overly simplified version. You can add a dimension to the already fully constrained piece of sketch geometry, and Fusion will implicitly create a driven dimension. Here, you have a defined rectangle, and you want to add a sketch within that rectangle, but you want it to be driven off the rest of the rectangle. You'll see in your parameters, after selecting driven, the numbers are in parentheses and grayed out. The result of the driven dimension in both cases should be presented in the parameters table and available to use or reference like any other parameter throughout the design workspace.